Hey everyone, it's Linda. Today I'm going to share products that I've purchased after seeing them on other creators' channels. And let me first say that I did not discover YouTube until 2014. And the only reason I discovered it then was because I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism and I was prescribed a medication called Thyn Synthroid. And I wanted to do a little research on the medication and learn more about hypothyroidism. So I started Googling and I came across Marnie's channel, Miss Gold Girl, because she did a couple videos on the subject and she takes Synthroid also. So that was my introduction to the beauty community. Of YouTube. I was a very late bloomer when it came to makeup. Until my early 20s, my, my makeup routine consisted of a little bit of blush and some chapstick, and that was it. Uh, then, uh, I don't know, mid-20s, whatever, somewhere around there, my mainstay until probably around 2014 was a bottle of CoverGirl Foundation, Lip Smacker, and the Dr. Pepper flavor, because that's a beautiful color. You should give it a try. And uh, some Maybelline blush, a neutral eyeshadow palette. I think that might have been CoverGirl as well. It was all tans and browns. And the Maybelline mascara, the pink tube with the green lid, and that was it. That was in my medicine cabinet in the bathroom. I applied my makeup in the bathroom. Just opened the mat, you know, the medicine cabinet, grabbed it out, set it on the counter, slapped it on, and I was good to go. So once I discovered Marnie's channel because I was never really that curious about makeup. I was just happy with what I had. My routine was fine with me. I just didn't care. So Marnie made me think, hmm, I guess there's more out there than uh, what I have, my little arsenal that I have in my medicine cabinet in the bathroom. So my first purchases were inspired by Marnie, Miss Gold Girl. And I'm gonna link everything, I'm gonna link everybody's channel below in the order that I mentioned them. So I think my first purchase that Marnie inspired was the Tinkle Razor. I still use them today, shaping the eyebrows, little stray hair, little exfoliation. Love these things. I've bought them over and over. Second purchase that she inspired was this little single from Wet n Wild in the color Brulee. She still raves about it today. It's great for highlighting, just all over lid color, whatever. It's a really pretty color. Here, I'll open it and show it to you. It's a very nice neutral. Another item that she influenced me to buy was this Wet n Wild, what's it called? Liquid Cat Suit. It's a matte, it's a matte, lipstick and it really does well well my goodness Linda it really does wear quite well I've even seen uh Angie from hot and flashy do reviews on this and this color is uh rebel rose and that's the color that Marnie said was her favorite and it's a beautiful color and my last purchase that was influenced by Marnie is this wet and wild highlighter and it is uh the color is precious petals and this is said to be a dupe for becca's champagne pop and i don't know because i've not used becca's champagne pop but this is a beautiful highlighter and after watching marnie for a while i started thinking there's got to be some older ladies out there, somebody that has wrinkles, somebody that I can relate to. And 
I came across Melissa 55 who has no wrinkles, but <laughs> because she could be 40. But Melissa inspired me to get on Tretinoin Retin-A. And it's one of the best things that I've ever done. Because as I've said before, I am so late to the skincare game. Sun washer, most of my life, just an outdoor person. You know, I love gardening, I love lawn work, just love being outdoors. And I just never bothered using a sunscreen. It never even crossed my mind. So this has helped me a lot. You know, believe it or not, this is an improvement from what I was dealing with before I started the Retin-A. So thank you, Melissa. And while I was dealing, and like Melissa, let me just back up for a second. And like Melissa, I jumped in to the 1%. My um, plastic surgeon, the same one that performed my surgery, my skin cancer surgeries, he um, just gave me the 1%. And he said, if you want to, you can start off by mixing it with some lotion to weaken it. I didn't. I just jumped right in. So I was a peeling miss. And so thanks to Melissa, I started using this cortisone cream to help tame my uh, flaking and my irritation. So thank you, Melissa. Uh, next product that I'm going to move on to is was influenced by Anne from uh, Beauty by Anne Marie. And that is this retinol cream by Nature Well, and I ordered this from Amazon, and I used this on my upper arms. My upper arms are very crepey, and this has helped with that tremendously, tremendously. Not tremendously, tremendously. Another item that Anne influenced me to buy was this Nivea Skin Firming. It's a serum. I don't even think they're making it anymore. I think you can still find it on Amazon, but I think it's gotten awful expensive. But it's very, very light gel formula. And what I used it for, or what Anne suggested it be used for, was to help with bags. And I know that also that um, Monica, Monica McGillicuddy, I know she uses this as well and has had uh, a lot of success using this. When I used it faithfully, it did work. But I don't use it enough. I always forget about it. I heard about this NYX item on Harmony's channel, Harmonized Beauty, and I know you've heard me talk about it over and over again. It's a Superstay Matte Ink by Maybelline. And this stuff, I'm kidding you, not, it doesn't dry my lips out. And it, you put it on in the morning and it's still on there at bedtime. And this color is Seductress. It's the color that uh, Harmony said that she uses. This foundation was a foundation that Angie, Hot and Flashy, reviewed. And this is a foundation I mainly use in the summer because it seems to be a little drying, but it's a really nice foundation for mature skin. It doesn't settle in your lines and wrinkles. It pretty much floats on top of your skin. And I really like it. That's a winner, Angie. I was inspired to buy this sunscreen by Monica, Monica McGillicuddy. It's Australian gold. It has a nice, I have a real hard time with sunscreens. And this sunscreen has a tint, slightly tinted. So you can wear it as a lightweight foundation in the summertime. I'm not even sure if you can see it. It's a very, very light tint. And I can also wear this under my foundation without any problem if I want to add a foundation. And it's a 50 SPF. And next up is this Mad Hippie Oil. I heard about this oil when Mary Glitzy Fritzy did review on the whole line of Mad Hippie products. And I bought a few other products. And I didn't fall in love with the other products, but I did fall in love with this oil and I've purchased this probably about three times now it's a lightweight oil it does it sinks into your skin it doesn't leave my skin feeling oily I wear it quite often under my makeup especially during the winter months this I've shared with you recently 
did my peel with this. I saw it on Elle's channel, Elle's for Living. And I'm happy I saw it because it did some good things. And this last item is an ice cream. And I know I'm going to slaughter this name, but I'm going to give it a try. It's written in, in Japanese. And it is Sukiyaki Suhara. And it's a urea eye cream. And I was kind of influenced to buy this by Kathy. From Kathy Beauty Care Chats in a roundabout way. She had recently mentioned an eye cream that she purchased after seeing it on Penn's channel, Penn Smith. And I thought, oh yeah, I remember Penn doing a review on some eye creams. And I thought, let me go back and watch it again because I had initially thought about buying the eye cream that Kathy had mentioned. But after listening to Penn's review, I thought this one suited my needs more. It's very, very nourishing. It's lightweight, and it really has been helping with my crepiness under my eyes. So thank you, Kathy and Pin. And honey, I didn't buy all these things at once just in case you're watching. So as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.